make sure everything's doing the right stuff. That's just a quick trip, like a mile. Hmm. Hmm. Battery doesn't feel hot at all. Nothing feels hot. Yeah, if anything, it's, it's it feels cool. Great. I, mean, well, I don't know if there's anything else I'd have to worry about other than heat. Um, that thing's slightly warm. Barely. Oh, looks good. Good job, battery. Let's check the other one, too. I'm not really expecting any problems, but you know, first test drive, you gotta check everything. Triple check everything, make sure it's all, I don't know, I don't know. You never know what's gonna happen. All right, this is the other side. With just the battery. There's nothing else in here, I think. Yeah. Nice and cool as well, very good. So I was probably driving for 10 minutes, maybe 15, because I I didn't drive directly here. Yeah, I was probably driving for 15 minutes. And uh, everything, everything seems to be good. Totally dry in there. Oh, my seats are really nice. Although this one, I can actually move it forward a little bit. I don't know. I'm going to leave it there for now. I did feel like I was stretching a little bit to get to the pedals. Although I, I was also not not putting the pedals right where I would normally want. Because I'm a little nervous about hitting my ankle against this. So I'm keeping my, my feet a little bit forward. Although I haven't hit, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe it'll be fine. The other thing is I might just cut off this part here. Because I'm never going to want the chair to be far enough forward that it uses these holes. The other one, the other one goes farther forward. But this one is the one I'm using. I'm never going to put it that far forward. Okay, let's check how this guy's doing. We got 11 amps coming in right now to the batteries. That's good. 3.1 kilowatt hours total have come in. I don't care about that. Uh, things are at 27 volts, so I mean the batteries still have lots of energy in them. I mean 27 volts is kind of full, except they're being charged right now, so they'll be, you know, they'll end up having a slightly higher voltage than, uh, you know, than what they actually. Whew, man. Oh, I gotta wash off these solar panels again. I just got, you now it looks like a bird pooped on this one. Nice job, buddy. I did brush off the um, the leaves, but yeah, there's a bunch of crap on there. And the tide was so low. Well, the tide's super low this week during the daytime. And the tide was so low today that I got up. As soon as the sun came up, I ran out and pulled my boat out, uh, you know, out of my island and kind of parked it on the beach beside my island. But then the tide... <laughs> kept going out so much that I actually had difficulty getting out getting it off the beach but uh but I got it it does look a bit like I'm popping a wheelie here <laughs> there's just no weight in the front of the boat you know the front is the cargo area and I don't even have the floorboards up there so there's like really no weight in the front of the boat and all the weights in the back uh well, you know as soon as I get some some stuff I'm carrying around that'll level it out. Although it drives perfectly fine like this, so I mean, nothing to worry about. The only thing is when the front is so high, the back's lower. So, you know, the motor's lower than it needs to be and the, the rudder ends up lower than it needs to be. Although right now it looks fine. But when I, when I put my weight in there, you know, it lowers it a little more. But, I mean, it's still perfectly within acceptable ranges. I do want to scrape the bottom of the boat some more because I've still got some barnacleage down there. Yeah, I got most of it off, but you know, that'll still definitely slow me down. 
Or maybe I'll jump in a little bit. Scrape off some more of those. Yeah, I mean, this good test drive. Didn't go very far or anything, but everything's looking great. You know, the boat performs as it should. The batteries, I guess the batteries are the thing that I would be most... Yeah, that's the thing I'm kind of testing the most, is just, just the batteries. And uh, these Rododo batteries seem to be pretty good. I was running the motor full speed the whole way here. And... I don't totally remember, but the, the motor uses somewhere around 50 amps. Um, like 40 to 50, I think. And I was getting about 20 from the solar panel. The front four solar panels are connected directly through a switch to the motor. So I was getting about 20 amps off those directly to the motor. So that left... Oh, and these, these two back ones are charging the batteries. So that left about... 20 to 30 amps coming off the batteries, so 10 to 15 amps off each battery, which shouldn't shouldn't be difficult for those batteries. They should be able to handle that fine. And yeah, uh, everything worked. Everything worked great. The, the, what, what else am I concerned about? I'm a little bit concerned about the motor because you know it, it's it's pretty old. This is one I made a pretty long time ago. Um, I don't know, like eight, eight years ago eight or nine years ago and you know I've been using it for a long time it makes a bit of a scratchy sound I think it's just some some gunk stuck in the motor I, I couldn't get out I took it apart I made a video about that recently I took the motor apart and you know cleaned it out as well as I could and it improved it but it's still a bit you know <sighs> but uh seems to be working fine uh, the rudder is working great yeah that came out really nice yeah, everything seems to be working. I don't actually know what my speed is. Sounds like it's recording. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, just keep the camera lined up there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to back up and just kind of drive back and forth. All right. Turn stuff on. I'm not moving it. Okay, yes, it's going up where it is. Alright, I wind it up. Wave at me! Alright, with motor totally deactivated and just pedal power going, we are definitely moving. Basically, we're not doing too bad. I was thinking the pedal power wasn't going to be useful for much, but uh, yeah, you know, if we had to get home from a broken motor, we could do it. Okay, let's see how fast we can go. Yeah, 
Yeah, it was better than I thought it was going to be. I'm kind of impressed. It's a big boat to be pushing around with pedals. All right, let's turn on some motor. Can you keep up with those pedals? stays on pretty good. <laughs> Steering wheel is working great. What do you guys think? Pretty cool boat? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh good. Are you falling asleep? <laughs> I'm not. You're not? But my head <sighs> Oh that went so well. So that's the first test drive with everything functioning and everything worked perfectly. I even did a little funny maneuver driving my boat into the parking spot here. So at the entrance to the canal, which is you know, way back there, um, I, got my, I drove my nose in, but I drove in crooked and did a maneuver you can't do with rudder steering. So my, the boat I've been driving is this one now, or this one and it only had rudder steering. So that means you have to be moving to steer. But today when I drove in, I just stuck my nose in the canal and then turned the motor at the back because I have motor steering and, and shoved the butt of the boat over while the, while the boat wasn't even moving, you know, like basically a tank turn to get in. Oh, it worked great. So yeah, and the, the motor worked great. Speed control was good. Uh, the batteries, spectacular. Just everything, everything worked great. And the charge controller, just, yeah, everything is working great. So I'm parking this boat in my main parking spot now. It was parked here, and you can see this spot here gets really shallow. Like, this is basically where I, I beach a boat when I'm not using it. So this boat's in the beach spot, so it's going to be out of the water a lot. So it's not going to be getting barnacles under it. And now, yeah, the tiger shark slicer is going to be my main boat. And hopefully I'll drive it a lot over the next, I don't know, week or two. And hopefully by that point, I'll feel confident enough in its capabilities that I can take it on some long trips, you know, all the way to town and stuff like that. But uh, so far, everything's looking great. And when I take it out on the first test drive with everything functional, all I'm doing is looking for problems. <clears throat> so, you know, I was running the motor at full speed for 15 minutes straight, you know, listening for any signs of problems, checking the heat of everything. Batteries are still cool. The motor didn't heat up that much. I mean, the motor heats up some, but totally within acceptable parameters. I'm just checking for a coconut right now. I don't see any. <clears throat> but yeah, everything everything worked great. Steering works great. It's a very maneuverable boat. It's really nice uh, to have a boat that big that's that maneuverable. And the speed seems to be pretty close to the speed of the boat I have been driving, the, the smaller one, the green one there. Um, it might even be a little bit faster, the, the bigger boat, the one I just tested now. And... Uh, once I scrub off the rest of those barnacles, it should gain a bit more speed. So, yeah, it's really nice. This, this bigger boat can definitely at least match the performance of this one, even with the, you know, the bigger size and the huge cargo 
capacity. I mean, it can hold way more than this boat. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, if it can actually go faster than that boat, oh, that'd be great. And I'm thinking I may look at that video that I got my daughter to take where I was just driving the boat back and forth across with the camera stationary. And I know how long the boat is, 30 feet, 10 meters, I think. Oh crap, I'm gonna have to double, double check and measure that. But I should be able to look at the, the camera or the video and calculate roughly what, what my speed is. Okay, 29 feet long is that boat. I don't know, within a, within a couple inches. Um, which is about nine meters. So not 10 meters, nine meters. So I know how long the boat is. So if I look at the video and I stop it at a point where I can see the front of the boat, then I just have to keep track of that spot and then advance frames until the back of the boat is at that spot where the front of the boat was. Then I know the boat has traveled nine meters and then just check how much time has gone by. Uh, you know, it should be pretty easy to figure that out. And then uh, distance divided by time, meters per second, miles per hour, it gives me a speed. So yeah, I should be able to figure out the speed, you know, fairly accurately. Of course, the real test will be driving to town because that's, that's a time that I've measured. It's a long distance, it's, you know, including the weather and the currents and wind and everything. I know, I know I can get there in about three hours in good conditions with my green boat. So if I can get there in about the same amount of time or faster in a bigger boat, that would be beautiful. But I'm not ready for that test yet. The, the full, the long distance trip, I need, to, I need to work up to that. I need to do a bunch of trips around here. And uh, if all my trips over the next week or two go as well as everything did today, then I'll make a long trip pretty soon after that. Maybe my next trip to town. I don't need to go to town in the next week, so maybe my next trip to town will be in that boat. Oh, I'm going to be nervous for that, because if anything goes wrong on that trip, like I could be 10 miles from home. So maybe I'll take a backup motor and some tools and stuff, just, just in case, you know, I don't know. But uh, man, for a first full function test drive, that was, that was awesome. Beautiful.